Today we're going to be taking a look at the replacement four leaf slipper spring with radius N for 2,000 pound trailer axles. Measuring 24 and 5 eighths of an inch long, part number is SP-179275. Now to install the spring on your axle, we're going to use U-bolts to connect it so our spring is going to fit around the underside. We'll have a plate to go underneath and two U-bolts to hold it. Now we recommend using a new U-bolt kit. The larger hole in the middle is going to accept that small tab that sticks off there. The top portion of the bolt fits right into the bottom. Our spring perch there. Bring that through, and then we'll just take the provided nuts. We'll snug these down once we have our axle in position and we know that it's hanging the way we want it. Now we can get our axle put up in position once we have that done on each end. You'll see here on the back side is gonna be the area the slipper portion will slide into, and then we'll rotate it up into position, and we'll use our bolt here in the front. Now, we're using the 9 16th inch bolt, it's three and a half inches long. Part number is 166079. That's gonna be the perfect bolt solution for this particular spring. So we just wanna rotate that up into position. Once we align our hole, we can slide through our bolt. You can see that's gonna fit right through that bracket up here on the spring eye. We'll go through our bracket, through the spring eye, come out on the inside. Just want to keep in mind you do want a little bit of movement. You don't want to squeeze that bracket down so tight that it's pulled against the side of the springs. You want those to be able to move a little bit. Now on the back side of the bolt right there at the head, you'll see the splines that are on it. Those are designed to engage the bracket and keep our bolt from turning. So you don't want to turn the bolt side. We're going to tighten this down using the nut side only. Now once the spring eye bolts are in place, just want to kind of tap your axle and make sure that your U-bolts are sitting straight up and down, and we'll start to tighten these down evenly. Now we're going to go to each one and we're going to begin to torque them down. Now typically what you're looking for is torque to yield, is what they call, so we're going to torque these just until we see our, our plate start to deform just slightly. That'll give us the proper tension on those U-bolts so we won't have to worry about them backing off. Now, with everything tightened down, that completes our installation of the replacement four-leaf slipper spring with the radius end for 2,000-pound trailer axles, part number SP-179275.